Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make three different type of kotu roti. First I'm making the chicken kotu and then vegetarian kotu and then um, lamb kotu. This is the roti that we use for the kotu roti. This is called wheat roti or you can make it also with barota. First we have to cut them into small uh, string like this. Now everything is being pre prepared. The roti is cut into small pieces. Vegetables also cut into small pieces. I'm using cabbage, beans, leeks. And this is optional if you want. You can use the spring onion, curry leaf, onion, and chili, and some eggs. I already made the curries as well. This is the pre made chicken curry. I used the boneless chicken. Uh, for this recipe now everything is being pre prepared we start doing the kotu. this is the machine that we are using it's called cord plate normally we see this in the shops but uh, it's rare the people have it at home i borrowed it from one of my uncle because we had a party for 50 people now let's start making the kotu two tablespoon of oil some onion I'm adding half a cup of onion, one or two chili, some curry leaf, and mix it all. Let the onion to saute it in the oil for a while, and then add the vegetables. I'm adding beans, cabbage, and leeks. Mix them, let the vegetable cook for 2 to 3 minutes. And then add the egg. I'm adding 3 egg here. So I'm doing the kotu for um, 3 people. And then uh, let the egg to cook for 2 to 3 minutes and mix them all. Add some salt, salt for your taste, you can add uh, according to the taste. Mix it and then we add the roti. Um, this is an important part, you need to chop it like this. That is, um, the chopping is the important part of this, um, this kotu. That make the uh, roti and the curries mix all together. And now I add the chicken curry that we made it earlier. If you need a chicken curry recipe, you can get it from my channel. But for this recipe, we are using the boneless chicken. Now the chicken kotu is ready. We can save it. Can you see how nicely it's chopped and came out? Now the super delicious Sri Lankan style chicken kotu is ready. As I told you earlier, I borrowed it from my uncle, this cord plate, and we were making the kotu every single day after the party. And today we are making a um, vegetarian kotu. So to make the vegetarian kotu, we make the exactly the same way. We add the um, onion, chili, curry leaf, and then add egg. Let it cook for a while and then add salt for your taste. So this mixing is important. So now we add the basic vegetables. Like you can add uh, um, these vegetables or even carrot, capsicum. That goes very well with the kotu as well. So the vegetable is your choice. And then I'm going to add the paneer here for this vegetable kotu. If you want to add the cheese, add it at the end because the cheese will melt. But the paneer won't. Mix them all together and then we're going to add the chopped roti. And here, like for the vegetarian kotu, we're going to add a, a vegetarian curry that I pre-made it. It's a beans and um, potato curry I'm adding. But you know, you can put any curries you want. That will give you a nice flavor. Otherwise, the kotu will taste plain. Now the super delicious Sri Lankan style vegetarian kotu is also ready. 
when you come to chopping it doesn't need to be chopped like this i just fast forward it that's why it looks so fast now we plate it and enjoy it the last kotu that i'm going to make is the um lamb kotu so we just uh make it exactly the same way this is the best party food uh, for the um, for the parties like i made it for 50 people um and everybody enjoyed it like you know we make the curries already pre-prepared and when they need something like you know they can choose what they want like you know whether they want the chicken kotu vegetarian or the lamb kotu so it is a best party starter it's just like a um just like a barbecue like you just uh, make it on the spot and eat it and it will be very delicious like you know when you eat it nice and hot and spicy and also you can choose whatever things that you need so that is the best part of it if you don't have this machine you can make it with the barbecue machine as well they have a small area where it's nice and flat you can make this kotu with that as well and then add the roti put the roti to get nice and hot and then after add the lamb um, curry this is a, a lamb curry with the gravy it is better to add some gravy in it so that it will have some gravy to mix with the um, roti now the lamb kotu is also ready and i as i said if you need if you like you can add some spring onion now the lamb kotu is ready we made it for three people as well i hope you enjoy this video like the way that we enjoyed making is thank you